I am Nick Shell, and you're watching this video because you want to understand what inspired me to write my most recent song called No Rewind, which ultimately is the inner thoughts of someone who apparently lives with anxious thoughts in Enneagram 7 specifically. And ultimately the focus of my channel is going to be turning more towards that Enneagram and understanding our personalities. And it's interesting because I wrote this song and then I went through the certification program to become an, a certified Enneagram coach. But I didn't know my identity according to the Enneagram until I had already written these words and it was like a prophecy as if this would be exactly what it's like inside the mind of someone who is an Enneagram 7 and if you don't know what that is, be on the lookout for new videos because I'm going to be launching a lot of new content that's specifically about all of our personalities, nine all together, but specifically this song is ultimately those anxious thoughts. A person like me is wired to constantly be doing something and I'm learning it's me trying to outrun my anxiety and outrun my over the top fears that I have about life apparently. So this song was written right before I discovered that. I think that's so cool. Here's the words. My life is flying by no matter how I try. To slow the story down, there's no way to rewind. No rewind only in my mind. No return, no reverse. The present tense is just a myth. It barely exists. It's an instant memory. The moment it happens, then it's gone. No replay, no repeat, no redo, no reboot. And then what I did for the verse on this, instead of doing two or three verses, I put like three verses all at once because I wanted to reflect that stream of consciousness that I think people who actually deal with anxiety often do. So what appears to be just some random thoughts are actually kind of a baseline of how my anxious thoughts run. And you can kind of see how it's uh, pertinent to me specifically. So here it is. Here's the one verse of the song. 100 years from now, who's gonna live in my house? Will anyone remember my name when I'm another skeleton in a grave? And where do all the souls go? Here's to hoping hell is a misunderstanding. Is heaven really rest for the weary? Here's to hoping I can ever get near it. What about my wife, my son, and my daughter? How could I be a better husband and father? What if this is all there really is and I had to make the most of it? There, that's actually the end of the song because then I'm going back to the, to the chorus. But what you get a glimpse of is you know, there's, there's actually three groups uh, in each Enneagram personality. Um, specifically mine is an Enneagram 7 one-to-one, -one, meaning that if you're familiar with Maslow's hierarchy of needs pyramid, it means ultimately my goal in life is not just simply trying to physically survive. It's not really trying to find my people, trying to find my group. It's specifically trying to connect to my own thoughts and understanding. It's called the self-actualization. So when you're Enneagram 7, it's an interesting place to be because you don't get caught up in a lot of the distractions in life that a lot of people do. Instead, you're very well aware of what does matter and what doesn't matter in life what you can control versus what you can't, and you're grateful for what you are. But it's also a little bit trippy uh, because ultimately it's self-actualization. So you think, well, what's the greatest fear anyone could possibly have in this world? Well, somebody like me is gonna take it to another extreme. I'm talking about heaven and hell, and I do that a lot in my songs. I mean, diagnose this, think about this. I'm saying, and where do all the souls go? Here's the helping, here's the hoping hell is a misunderstanding. Is heaven really rest for the weary? Here's the hoping I could ever get near it. So here I am saying, uh, it'd be nice if hell wasn't real and no one had to worry about actually going there. But then I take it a step further. I'm like, but what if heaven is hell? What if somehow it's not really this paradise, this rest that I want it to be? So I mean, that's uh, probably the ultimate revelation of this song as far as understanding how someone like me thinks. And then the last part of that is me talking about my family and ultimately, what if this is all there really is and I had to make the most of it? Well, that makes it sound like a simple question, but it's pretty, it's pretty deep actually because yeah, that's the whole point. What, what if it was nothing beyond this life? What if 
And all I had to do is make the very most of every day. Easier said than done. But ultimately, for someone like my mind, Enneagram 7, it's like you have fear of missing out, but you have fear that you're missing out like almost in the present because the, as I say in this verse or in the chorus, the present tense is just so there's, you know, past, present, future. I'm saying the present tense basically doesn't exist. This is something when I was an English major in college, I remember the professor saying like, technically there's like nine different verb tenses and the present is almost the most imaginary because now just ended. The, as soon as I said now, it ended. So what if you had fear of missing out, not in the future, but like the thing that you're involved in right this second? What if you're not present enough in that? I think that's a pretty good example of the self-actualization at the very top of Maslow's hierarchy of needs pyramid and someone who is a one-to-one -one, uh, group in the Enneagram 7. So there you go. That's it. That's, that's a glimpse of the anxious, ancient ancient anxious the anxious thoughts that somebody like me goes through somebody like me who ultimately motivated by fear of boredom and pain and it gives me anxiety and i've had this my whole life and i'm just now understanding this so much so that that's why i'm going to redirect uh, my channel and make it really about any grand personalities and helping people understand themselves and understand those around them better we owe it to ourselves to be more present in life. And it's hard to do that when you don't have the cheat codes to understand, here's why that person acts that way, but I can know how to get around it to bring the best out of them. And I can know what landmines to avoid so that I can live the best version of my life and not get distracted in something that's going to trigger me. So more on that to come. If you haven't heard the song, just take a look at that little, I guess you click on the title, right? And then you can click a link to watch me perform my song. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your support.